What's going on, my good people? Not outside today. I'm tired. And I got to uh, open up my shop at 11, so I really ain't got no time to be out walking today. But it's been something on my heart, man. And uh, it might be controversial. Um, and I'm okay with that. So, God's put it on my heart to just speak on it, man. It was like, speak your mind and see what happens. You know, maybe somebody thinks like you. Maybe somebody has been in this this little tiny bit of confusion on a certain on this certain issue as you. And maybe you can help somebody. And so I was trying to figure out a way to voice this to where it makes sense to people. All through my spiritual journey, of course, I ain't read the Bible till I was 39 years old. And then reading the Bible, it's a lot of contradictions up in there. And uh, my last video was about Yahshua and, um, and the name of Jesus that we've been given by these people at the Vatican who I believe are insanely corrupt. Um, and so... I was trying to find a way to voice this to people between the name Jesus that we've been given in these times and Yeshua, which is the person who was actually here doing all of these miracles and freeing people of their mind and their hearts to go out and be better people. So I'm gonna explain it like this. We're gonna say, we're gonna say power. We're gonna call this one power in a name. So, what if Martin Luther King, Martin Luther King was a man that walked on this earth who did great things, and he actually, in a sense, freed a people. In a sense, freed a people. And his teachings still help people today. So let's say in 300 years, Matter of fact, let's give it 100 years. Let's say in the year 2123, somebody writes about Martin Luther King, but in their story, they call him Carlton Luther Queen. And they be like, but it doesn't take anything away from Martin Luther King. We're just calling him Carlton Luther Queen. And then... They draw a picture of Carlton Luther Queen and Carlton Luther Queen don't look nothing like Martin Luther King. Let's say they change Carlton Luther Queen to a white guy, a white guy who marched for white freedom, white people's freedom. And he freed white folks. And then, you know, in 2022, 20, 23, that's the that's the standard. Don't nobody know Martin Luther King. They only know Carlton Luther Queen. And they be like, Carlton Luther Queen freed us. But it don't look like you. And then you sit here like, but they told us that his name was actually Martin Luther King. And they be like, don't worry about that. It's, it's more power. You know, everybody's familiar with Carlton Luther Queen. It's power over here. And that was the thing that I kept running into. If his name is Martin Luther King, call him by his name. It don't matter if time change. Call him by his name because it's power in that name. They'd be like, it's power in the name of Jesus. Is it really? Is it really? If his name was Yahshua and Yahshua was the person that freed the Israelites, the Hebrews. And now we call him Jesus. Is there any power in the name Jesus? Just ask it because this has been on my heart and it should be on yours too. ask a damn question, man. Don't sit here like no doggone sheep listening to what some people in the Vatican who don't stand for nothing about Yahshua. Nothing. Probably can't stand that man for what he did to free the minds of the people and got them out of the slavery game that they were in. The religion slavery game. Like, 
this is what I'm trying to say, man. Like, if you change the name of somebody, you keep the same text, keep all of his words, man, maybe change some. Maybe say he wasn't married. He was just a, oh, yeah, they, we changed him to Carlton Luther Queen. Carlton Luther Queen was not married. Carlton Luther Queen was, a perf was perfect. He never did anything wrong. Carlton Luther Queen wasn't even human. He was actually the God of the universe. And so you people, hey man, you can get people to worship the wrong way. Don't worry about it. I learned this by going to Iraq and Afghanistan, watching them, watching them soldiers, because I was over there as a contractor. So even though I went to the military, I got out of the military, went to college, and then I went over as a contractor. And I watched soldiers march in the wrong directions for my six years over there. But in actual reality, they were marching in the wrong direction for 20 years because we were just fighting anybody who could put their hand up. So let's go back to the beginning. Let's say Martin Luther King in the 60s did all of these great things all of these and had all these great teachings and people hated him for it hated him hated him hated him and then in a hundred years they still use all of his same teachings but they call him carlton luther queen then they say oh it wasn't no coretta scott she was just one of his followers he wasn't married to her she was just one of his followers what you mean and not only was he just a man, not he wasn't just a man, he wasn't no human. He was God of the whole universe. Don't make no sense, dog. It just don't. And this has always been my struggle with the Bible. Always. Because the pervert ass people that be, uh, you know, in, in the Vatican, they are responsible for this. These wrong teachings. And they didn't like sent a whole bunch of people in the wrong direction, I feel. I might be wrong, but let's question it. Let's, let's give a big what if. Is it really power in the name of Jesus if his name was Yahshua? Yahshua was doing the work. Jesus is getting the credit. Who the hell is Jesus? I don't believe in silky head white Jesus. I just don't. I don't believe in silky hair white Jesus because in Revelations, that don't look like no white Jesus. That white Jesus, the silky hair white Jesus, did not have bronze feet and his hair did not look like no steel wool, like, like no wool. So I know what wool looks like. And uh, silky hair Jesus, that ain't who we, I don't, I, don't, I don't stand by that. And it's always been my problem with the Bible. It's always been, my, they have built a whole cultish religion around the wrong character. And they'd be like, no, 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 man, it don't make no difference. It don't make no difference. Well, they call out Yahshua and let's see what happens. The king of kings, the person that really cured people of their diseases and has supernatural abilities to help folks. That's all I'm saying. Let's put power into the real name and let's take power away from the Vatican, which is they silky head Jesus.